Good afternoon, this is Zachary Sweep on this beautiful day, but it's very warm. And you can see the sun is trying to get through the clouds. And um, it's very nice. Nice view of the rooftops and everything. I'm just doing this quick video. Just thought I'd give a quick shot of where I'm working. Basically, this customer had one of these fitted in a disused chimney and look at how long it goes look at that it's put all the way down in there completely over the top and to be fair rubbish because they put it in and you can see all the way down to the bottom in the bedroom and you can see there's a bird's nest in the chimney and of course what has happened is where the water has been coming down the chimney because there's your water protection at the bot at the top of it. It's not protecting it at all, is it? All the water is just going to come straight down the chimney, and that's what's happened to this. And they've ended up with damp in the room. So um, hopefully we've cleared it all out now, and um, hopefully, well, not hopefully, it will do. It will stop any more damp. Uh, there's damp on the on the walls and the chimney stack itself. But, I mean, look at that. I mean, who in their right mind would think that that is suitable? It's just beyond me. There's just one place for that, and that is on the floor. Um, before I carry on my video, just uh, I'd like to point out that it's always better to make sure that you are in a safe location when you're doing roof work and that you either on cherry pickers, scaffolding, or you have your ladders tied down properly and you're secure and safe. What I've done for the customer is I've put one of these on. These are called uh, Kappa Strap. Strap, not straps. And from Brewer, of course. As you know, I always use Brewer stuff. And this is perfect. This is absolutely what you want for a, a disused flow. Um, the customer's thinking about having, because they've got a, a hole in there where the board's been removed, they're thinking about having a nice, just uh, a fireplace in in the actual bedroom, and not a used one, just one just for decorative use only. You can get some really lovely bedroom ones, so that's what they're thinking of doing. And at Zachary Sweeps, we do all that sort of stuff, so if I do do do, do it, I will do a video of it as well. I just wanted to show you how I put these on because I don't do them the same as other people do. You know, like I, I am thinking of like the weather and the wind and everything. These these strap a strap a strapper caps are great because they have a little air vents on either side. It's three of them all together. They allow the air to circulate in the chimney and it also stop any rain coming in. And even driving rain, we find it very difficult to get into it. But it allows enough air to circulate in the chimney. As you can see, with the way the way I what, what I do is with these I bend them over, but there's the strap that's going along, and then you've got the, the the part that you screw up to tighten it up so it's all fixed on properly. I bend them over. So a lot of people leave them flat down on the chimney pot. I don't know why, but they just do that, and it's it it, it works, but it only is a temporary thing. And then eventually it'll loosen itself off and then before you know it you'll end up with it coming off and uh, you don't want it to come off onto your car or greenhouse or or, or, or even your uh, uh, the, the customer themselves so i always make sure that i actually i, I, I bend them over i put the strap up and the, and then uh, and then on this one i'll put it up again because it's quite low down to the actual top of the floor chin on top of the chimney and then I do the same on the sides as well. And then if you look uh, on the other side, it's got the exact same. Try and keep your straps at nice level, uh, going nice level, going right the way across, because it makes such a difference when you're on the on the ground looking up at them. But and that is solid now. There's a little bit of a gap there, but that's not going to make no difference. But if that, if that came loose, that screw now then there's no way that's going to go anywhere. And what you must always do with these, these um, cows when you fit them is I always recommend make sure that this is secure. This area has got to be secure, but make sure you always put them on the flat piece 
I see people putting them on these these, these bits here. It's no good, or, or any any sort of angle on them. They're no good at all. They'll come off eventually. Always put them on the flat piece, and then that's it. That's it. That will they won't let any water in, and um, and there you have it. Basically, a Brewer Kappa strap. Um, fantastic, great, great, well worth the money, and they will last forever, just like the bird guards. Uh, couldn't recommend Brewer cows any any stronger than I do on my videos and everything. So there you have it. Very, very simple. Put them on, bend these straps over, obviously, uh, so that 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 that, that they so that they bend them into shape of the cow, like I've done here. Like on this side, bend them into the shape, and then and then bend them flat on there. Then put the strap on, like I've done. Tighten the strap up as much as you can, and then bend them over, and then and then this one bend it over again. The strap over the over the strap that's coming down, as you can see, very self-explanatory, and then and then and then it, it it will stay on there forever. And that's what you're looking for. You don't want to be paying out money to have these fitted and then having to replace them every sort of five to ten years, fifteen years, or whatever. You want them to last for life. So that's that's how you do them. Very simple, but must, must must make sure that these are always on the flat part of the chimney. No good putting them on at, uh, the part where it's on an angle. So there you have it. One strapper cap fitted, um, and now customers not going to get any water coming down the chimney um, regarding their damp patch um, they, they, what they'll have to do is get some damp seal from the um, B&Q or Juicems or any DIY store uh, and and uh, it's about 10 quid a tin and then you, you must put that on otherwise you could put 200 coats of normal paint on and this and, and the stain will just keep coming through so just remember that 10 quid damp seal paint that on and then do, do your decorating afterwards and then you and it, they'll be fine now give it a bit of time to dry out it's all nice and open up there so that is it it is all done have a lovely day from zachary sweeps